Hey, what's going on guys? Buddy Lee here. In today's video, we're going to be swapping out headlight bulbs for the 98 Toyota 4Runner SR5 that I have here. And this should work for, I would imagine, every third gen uh, Toyota 4Runner and Tacoma as well. It's an easy job, but there's one little tricky bit that I found. So I wanted to go ahead and put that on film in case somebody's out there trying to figure out how to do it. We're going to be switching them out with the Sylvania Silver Star 9003 bulbs. I actually already have the driver's side done because that was the side that needed to be done. That side was burnt out. But uh, first things first, you have a clip, a little red clip right here. You're going to go ahead and press down and pull that out. That's going to separate the clip from the back of the bulb. And then you're going to take this rubber boot right here at this tab and pull and separate that from the back of the head. Once you get everything pulled out, here's what it should look like. Here's the boot that covers the back of it. I'm going to set that aside. The tricky bit that I was, and I would say it was tricky because I've never seen this in a vehicle before. This may be more common than, than I know, but you have this wire that's under tension, almost like a, um, almost like a mouse trap. So to get this, I'm gonna try my damnedest here. To get this out, you need to. Well, I think my hands gonna get in the way no matter what. But you need to press down and then swing it out and it opens up uh, like a door right here because it's hinged right there and the light bulb literally just pulls out it's got three pr uh, lineup prongs on it but you don't need to stick it in and turn it you just pull it straight so out. there we go um, I'll put it back in so here it is uh, back in you're gonna press and then lift up now you don't want to cooperate Yep, struggling. There we go. Press and lift up. This thing opens up. Be careful because this thing, the light will drop. And just pull. Oh, insulation. Pull insulation is going to be the exact opposite of removal. You just want to make sure. First off, I should be wearing gloves. I know that. I uh, don't ever want to touch the glass. To the way these prongs are oriented with the one on the left, one on the right, one on the top. That's the way that these things fit into the back of... Uh, back of the headlight so orient it like this if this no shit sticks in close that metal hinge and then bring it over its little um, latch and we're gonna put the boot on and then plug everything up and hopefully everything should work all right well here it is with the new bulbs put in we used the Sylvania 9003s pretty easy job for the exception of that tricky little locking uh, wire mechanism they have in there I've never seen it before it might be more common than I know of but it's the verse vehicle that I've owned that's had it uh sorry for the lack of i guess enthusiasm in this video i literally just woke up a few minutes ago i work third shift i work uh, 10 at night till 6 30 in the morning so i sleep in in the afternoons and, and wake up late like this and i want to get these put in before before dark before i left for work and like what the fuck i'll go ahead and i'll go ahead and put them in now and and, and try my best at a video uh probably not gonna be very good so but if you guys enjoy it or you find it useful, that's great. But there we go, 98 Forerunner SR5 new headlights put in. I'll go ahead and put the parts below in the description. And, um, oh, I forgot to say, the one thing that I did have an issue with, I'll go ahead and put this in before. Before I turn the video off. This side here, was a huge pain in the ass to squeeze. If you have big hands, you can't fit in here. So I had to take this, it was a 12, and loosen this up. It holds your battery in place. And just swing it out of the way, and I just slid my battery back, and that gave me ample room to get it put in there. But that's, uh, make sure I got all my tools up. That's gonna be it for today. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, whatever you guys wanna do. And I uh, will see you guys on the next project.